Now let's write some code to put some text into our text box txt student. So in this case I'm going to have a student's name Mary Brown appear in the text box whenever the button is clicked. This involves changing the text property of txt student. So again we begin with the name of the control which is txt student dot now the property text equals and text should be included in inverted commas so in this case my inverted commas followed by Mary Brown let's write another line of code which will make our list box LST output invisible again we begin with the name of the control which is LST output dot this is the visible property we're changing now and we set it equal to false so when this line of code is executed in other words when we click on the button btn change the list box should disappear finally let's write a line of code to use the enabled property of a control in this case we'll disable the button btn push so we begin with the name of the button btn push dot and it's the enabled property and we set it to be false now we run our program and click the button so remember once again that none of the instructions in the procedure will be executed until we click on the button btn change but as soon as we do click on the button the instructions will be executed in sequence and there we go and we can see that the first one that will be executed will be changing the text the background of txt student to be yellow then changing the text on the label lbl student to be red then inserting the text mary brown in our text box txt student then the list box LST output disappears and finally BTN push is disabled and you can see that it's grayed out there so it's not available to take input from the user and once again we just stop our program so now we've written our first lines of visual basic code and remember again to change a property we need to give the control name followed by a dot followed by the property equals and then the new value if you would like some more practice changing properties why not click on the form 1.vb design tab that will take you back to the design window add another button and write some more lines of code to change the properties of the controls but remember the lines of code need to be included in some event procedure for example the click event for the button that you're just about to create in the next lesson we will look at how to store different types of data in the memory and output them to the user